Don't you just hate it when you decide to go away in the van last minute and you've got to go and pick something up because you've completely and utterly forgot to buy something essential. We're going to have to go to Luton because this is the only place we can get what we are after. So come with us and find out what we desperately need. Now, is there a height barrier on the car park for the station? Actually, I don't think there is. There is! Oh. Damn it! Damn it! We're going to have to find some dodgy street parking. This is not good. Um, yeah, so Luton doesn't have... That was my only option, that and the football car park doesn't look like Luton's got any car parks without height barriers so if you bring a camper van to Luton um, expect to have to park it on the road let's have a look around here no that's the football car park there's a little bit of street parking outside Iceland um, if you come on a Sunday just for the record you can get parked anywhere because you can park all outside the church because it's only a single yellow line and the restrictions don't apply on Sundays. So yeah, I think we chose the wrong day to come. If not, we might be going round again. <laughs> is that a space? There might be a space. I think that is a space behind the green car. Da, 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 da. I'm sure you'll have to park it. Yeah, I don't know what that sign says. It used to be pay and display, so hopefully. Paying for parking. Uh, two hours maximum. This is the only space we could park in in the whole of Luton, it would appear, <laughs> because there's height barriers everywhere else. So, And the shop that we are going to is about 50 yards that way. Result. Hey, hey! What have we got then? So, I have got a collar and lead for Lily because she's called Lily Tiana, her initials are LT, Luton Town. So for me, this is the ultimate upgrade for our dog. Hold on, hold on. Did you say collar? Yeah, collar and lead, Luton yeah, no, Town. Yeah, she can't wear the collar. What? She can't wear the collar. Why? Because she's only got a little tiny neck and she's... Yeah, but I think it goes like small. It. No, 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 she can't wear a collar. So she can have the lead but not the collar. Oh. Does anyone want a Luton Town collar? Just <laughs> drop us a thing in the comments. Yeah. But I've got the lead, I can use the lead, can't you I? You can use the lead but not the collar. I can use the lead, fantastic. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. Luton Town lead. Tessie's jealous. Tessie's really <laughs> jealous because she wants a new lead. I'm not paying £17 for two of them. <laughs> Come on, girls. Right, so now that we've been and bought that essential upgrade for Lily, not for the van, it's now time for us to go to our evening stopover. Come and join us. So we have arrived. I drove too quickly, so there's still 15 minutes left of the first half of the football. I'm gonna listen to that now and then we'll take you for a little walk around and we'll show you where we're at. So you see where we're parked, we're actually in the overflow car park, which is a little bit muddy. Um, Claire's not that impressed, but one good thing is that she's actually volunteered to do the research next time we go away. She said, um, you're not very good at it, David. She said, so can, can I do it for you next time? <laughs> the other thing she's a little bit concerned at is that is the West Coast main line up there. 
And every time one of the fast trains, the ones that I like, the Pendolino ones, every time they go past, the van shakes. So that's the actual pub car park. Um, we're in the overflow, but yeah, there's no chance of getting into this one. But the pub is the Free Horseshoes. It's just outside of Hempstead, and it's right on the canal. So we can go for a lovely long walk in one of the directions up or down the canal. So yeah, I expect in the summer that is probably gorgeous outside there. Let's go for a walk down by the canal and see what we can find. Boats, probably. <laughs> it's really quite gorgeous. You've got the canal on this side of me, but then on the other side, you've got a little river. And you can see You've got some lovely little gardens that back onto the river. That's really nice. It's crystal clear water as well. So we come back from our walk and the space in the corner was empty. So how beautiful is this? You've got the pub there, you've got the canal there, and you've got the trains that go in between those two houses. So I can keep an eye on them as well. Good morning everyone. So we're going out for another little explore this morning. Um, there's quite a lot of Claire's lot actually along here. There's some runnists going in the other direction. So she's gutted she didn't bring her trainers because she said she could have won a medal. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take you the other side of the canal and we'll tell you about dinner last night. We're on camera number two today because uh, I'll be honest with you, GoPros are terrible. When they're working, they are amazing. But GoPro, you should be ashamed of yourself for the software that you put on your GoPros because it's crashed and I can't get it to switch back on. So we're on the good old Insta this morning. You all right, Claire, what are you doing? Just doing my big baby. Shouldn't she be walking on the floor? But we stopped, so she thought it was a perfect time to have a cuddle. She called me to come up, so. Tell everyone why we stopped. Because we're waiting for a train. <laughs> to go across that bridge because David thought it would be a lovely footage. How great will that look? You've got the boats there, you've got going around the bend, the bridge. Will we get it? Will we get the footage? So it turns out the trains are not actually running today or they're running really slowly because we didn't get the footage. So I'm going to tell you about the pub instead. Much more exciting. So it had a really welcoming vibe. Uh, there was a lovely fire as you walked in. The deck was lovely. The staff were so friendly. Can you hear that? That's the train going over the bridge that we were trying to film. So after the disappointment of missing that train and being under the bridge when it went past, I'll let you know about the food. So the menu was fantastic. They had some unusual burgers on there. 
they had um, tapas actually. We didn't get a chance to try that, but I would like to go back there again and do the tapas because we quite like that. And we quite often share like different dishes if we do that. So yeah, we will definitely be coming back. So Claire, what did you have for dinner? So I had the barbecue burger with chips and wings and it was delicious. As if there was any doubt whether Claire had a burger. Do you love my burgers? <laughs> now I had an atomic burger. Now an atomic burger was, um, it was a pork burger actually, believe it or not, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I was stunned it? actually that you had Yeah, it. it had chorizo in it, it had chilies and it had atomic sauce. And I'll be honest with you, it was phenomenal. But I needed ice cream for pudding, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've woken up this morning feeling fine. Anyway, I'm going to go because I think I can see a boat capsizing up ahead. Yeah, I'll just see. Um, <laughs> we'll show you that as we walk past. Oh, that is not good. So I don't know how many boatists we've got on this channel. Are they called boatists? <laughs> Boaters, boat drivers, boat owners. Sailors. But I would urge you to steer clear of the Grand Union Canal because I'll be honest with you, the seas seem a bit more choppy than the Bay of Bilbao or the Bay of Biscayne. Look at this. It's another one that's sinking. Look. That's two boats within a stretch of, I don't know, how far we walked, Claire? Quarter of a mile. Two boats sinking. Here you witness Claire sacrificing her dog for the sake of her art. I'm not sure which is going to get attacked first. Tessie or Claire? Oh, train, train, train. Never mind that. back at the van now and we're having a cuppa i think we've earned it <laughs> we have we just wanted to tell you one last thing about the access that we forgot to tell you yesterday so you can see behind me you've got the pub and you've got the crossing over the river now this road that comes in this is quite challenging uh, it does say that there's a three ton limit on here so i wouldn't bring anything bigger than a t6 down here but basically it goes up to the main road there's only one passing place and that's right at the top so I pulled in uh, yesterday another car pulled the other way and I had to reverse back onto the main road you can see that might be a bit of a challenge during peak times so that's the main road up there but I'll tell you one thing that is up here that's quite handy you have got a petrol station so if you wanted to get some there you go so that's exactly what happened yesterday um, and I had to reverse back onto the road to let someone in. But yeah, you've got a petrol station up here as well. So if you need a few like last minute bits, you could pop up here. You see there, you've got your free ton limit.
Well, we hope you've enjoyed the walk along the canal with us and our little pub stop. I really did. And do you know what? I'm really glad it was a local canal. Why? Because otherwise it would have been a far canal. And on that bombshell, thanks for watching. Good night. See you soon.